Hi Preps, this week we'll be drawing an easy landscape picture. You will need a piece of paper, a pencil, some color pencils, an eraser, and a sharpie. Let's get started. So we're going to draw our landscape drawing first using pencil, and then we're going to use our sharpie to outline it. So the very first thing I want you to do is to draw a triangle on your right side of your piece of paper, just like that. A triangle. Okay? And then I want you to draw a square underneath. Inside the triangle, I want you to draw a circle. And then inside the square, I want you to draw another square and a dot. Now, we're going to draw a parallelogram, okay? So we're going to extend this line like that. We're going to extend this one like that. And then we're going to draw and connect the lines. And then we're going to create a rectangle at the bottom, just like that. Now, inside this rectangle, we're going to draw another rectangle and draw a cross. So that's our house. On your left side, I want us to draw a tree. So we're going to do a curved line down, a curved line down this way, and making sure that the bottom is wider than the top. Now we're going to write the letter V right in the middle. And then to make the leaves, we're going to draw curved lines, almost like clouds. So let's start from the trunk and we go like this, okay? And then we're gonna start here and go the other way. So we're just going to do lots of curved lines just like that to draw the tree, okay? And I want to connect this one like this. We're gonna make it really bushy. Okay? All right, now to make our drawing more interesting, I'm going to draw two mountains at the back. So I'm gonna start from the edge of the paper on the right and we're going to draw an upside down V, but making the top curved, okay? So up, curving down and down. All right, and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna go up and down. Okay, we're going to connect two lines right there we're going to draw two straight lines down and now we're going to draw the river bend because that's going to be the waterfall. So we're going to draw a curved line just like that. And we're going to follow the line like this on the other side as well. So we follow the line just like that. Okay? And where we draw this curved line, we're just going to extend our line straight like this. Okay, we're just going to extend our line straight like that. And at the top, we're going to draw a circle for the sun. Okay, so that's our landscape drawing. Now, 
we're going to take our Sharpie and outline everything. Now we're going to color in our landscape drawings. I want you to find a selection of color pencils with the same colors but different shades. So what I mean by that is have a look at these two colors. They're both green but this is a darker green than this one. So I want you to find colors that are the same color, some lighter and some darker. Okay, and I'm going to show you how I would like you to color in your piece of landscape drawings. Okay, so let's start with the darker green first. I want you to start at the bottom. Okay, we're going to give our tree a darker bottom and a lighter top. Okay, so starting at the bottom, making sure that we're coloring in the white spaces. And once I reach this part, I'm going to go softer, okay? Because in a moment, I'm going to switch. So getting soft. In a moment, I'm going to switch to the other color. So dark, dark, dark. And soft. Now I'm going to take my lighter color and start from the top. And we're going to make it real press hard with this color. I want to come down. And then once you reach this part, you're going to go softer. So you're going to go soft into the dark green. So dark, 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 dark. Hard, press hard and soft. Hard, press hard, getting softer. Okay, so this is how I want you to have a go coloring in your landscape drawing this week. So we make the hard, okay, and now for the sun. I want to make my piece a sunset piece. So I've chosen a red color and an orangey red. Okay, so again, I want, this time I want to have the red at the top. So I'm gonna press hard. I'm gonna press hard. And then, when I reach the bottom, I want to go soft, very soft, okay? So hard, and then soft, hard, and then soft. Now I'm going to take the orange, and because I'm starting from the bottom, the bottom will be the hard part. And then I'm going to get softer going up. So the bottom will be the hard part and then it goes softer going up and again hard and soft hard and soft okay so we're this is called blending where we're blending two different colors together so now i want you to complete your coloring by choosing two colors and making sure that they're blended and they're going from soft to hard or hard to soft. 